Hey guys, as you guys can see, when I finally got back onto NBA Live, I had to download all these updates when I came back in about November, beginning December. Because as of right now, in January 2018, my team is a 90 overall, but I haven't showed you guys how I got to that point. So I'm going to be showing you guys my journey, what I did from November to today. Because I haven't posted any updates in about two months. And basically what I did is I opened up one of the starting bundle packs when I came back onto the game. And my very first pack, it was probably the best pack. I got two elite players, Russell Westbrook and Anthony Davis. And like I said, these clips are all from ending of November to beginning of December. So all these cards were worth much more than what they are worth right now. So at the time, I didn't really know the prices of these cards because it was my first time getting elite players. And I didn't really scout the market that much. And my second pack, I got Blake Griffin, Brooke Lopez, Wesley Matthews, Ariza, and Sheldon Mack. And this pack is a very good bundle to buy because you get a gold player at each position. That's why it's called the starting five pack. You get a gold position at point guard, shooting guard, small forward, power forward, and center. As you guys can see on this pack, I got Bradley Beal, Dirk, Parsons as a small forward, Jackson at point guard, and O'Quinn at the center. So basically each pack could be a starting five for you. So it's such a very good pack. When I came back, I was surprised by the amount of good players I got. And what's funny is I didn't know what these two players meant, like D'Angelo Russell and Tobias Harris. They had T-O-T-W under. I had no idea what it meant because I was off live for such a long time. But now I know it means team of the week. But back in the day when I op opened this pack, so I'm like, what is that? I just know that it's an updated version, but I didn't know what, it, what the initials signified. And as the topper, I got Draymond Green. And to admit it, I was pretty disappointed because I honestly thought I couldn't sell him for much because in previous NBA lives, Draymond Green wasn't worth too much. So after selling players from these packs that I opened, I was debating for my point guard position if I should get Tim Hardaway, Steve Nash from the Dallas Mavericks, or Steve Nash from the Phoenix Suns. Steve Nash from the Phoenix Suns has more speed, higher dribble, and a better mid, but Steve Nash from Dallas has a better three. But Tim Hardaway is much cheaper than both of those cards, but he has 85 defense, 95 dribble, 87-3, and 84 mid, and 90 speed. So in the end, I went and bought Tim Hardaway. And my next move was to get a small forward, which was Paul George. At the time, what I bought him for was cheap, which was 2300 and as you guys can see, I keep refreshing the page because on NBA Live, if there's a lot of people bidding on a player, it doesn't update right away. So this is why I always refresh it to make sure that I get the most recent bid to make sure I don't lose a card. And my next move was to buy James Harden. Because as you can see, at the time, James Harden was worth 40 to 50,000. That was his worth back then. And I bought him for 33K. So my plan was to resell this James Harden because I was still looking for more coins and I didn't want to use this Harden because I still had the, um, the trial Harden which I had five more games left because when you start the game you get James Harden for five games so I didn't want to keep this permanent Harden when I could resell it while it's still worth a lot of coins so as you can see I put it in the market and then I'll show you guys my sell pile these are the players I sold from the packs I opened I sold Draymond for 25 the Tim Hardaway I bought for 22, I ended up selling for 40,000, so I made profit. The Harden that I bought for 33k, I sold for 55. So I made tons of coins on reselling those players. D'Angelo, I sold him for 6,800. There's a lot of other players that I bought and sold, but I didn't have a chance to record it. But those are just some of the players that I sold. And my next move was to get a center, so I was scouting the center position. And like I said, this was back in the day. The best cards were Shaquille O'Neal, Dikembe Mutombo, Amari Stoudemire, Rick Smith, and I think those were the best centers at the time in the legend section because the cards that weren't legends were mad expensive, so I didn't go for those. Like Cousins and other players were expensive, so I went for Dikembe Mutombo. I got him for 15k. Back in the day, that was a huge deal, and even now, if you get Mutombo for 15k, it's still a steal. And this was my starting lineup. After all the buying and selling, I had Russell Westbrook at shooting guard. I didn't know if I want to keep him there. 
at Chris Paul. I bought him for like 7k. Someone sold him for super cheap. So my squad was pretty nice. It was already at 82 overall after all of this. And I also sold a few more players after. I sold Rudy Gobert, Trevor Riza. I also sold a Kyle Lowry, Serge Ibaka. I also had another Draymond Green that I bought. These are selling with no bids, but eventually I sold all of them. I also got another Tim Hardaway. I literally spent like a whole a whole day, whole whole week on the auction block. And my last move was to get a shooting guard because I didn't want Westbrook at shooting guard. So I was debating if I should get Jimmy Butler or someone else. But in the end, I didn't buy anyone because I went and used James Harden, which still had five games. So I didn't want to spend. I would rather keep my coins. So I'll keep updating you guys in the next few days. I also have some online league from 2K coming up. I'll have a lot of videos dropping this week. So just stay tuned, drop some comments or likes, and follow my Instagram, GFlash. It's the most active social media account that I'm going to have. I'm also creating a Facebook page to stay connected with you guys and also my Twitter account.